Okay. Good. Good. Okay, we've got two more. We've got two more here that I think are are uh, key to talk through. Uh, you mentioned the Giant Killer Award a few slides back. Mm-hmm. Can you say a little bit more about good guidance for publicly and incur- publicly encouraging and affirming qualities of spiritual leadership? Any any advice you'd give about giving encouragement? Yeah, I think you know we can never go wrong uh, in my mind in a sense of encouraging encouraging leaders and encouraging. Uh, the service and activity that people are doing in our church, you know, and from in most cases, these are people who are volunteering and they're giving their above and beyond their time uh, to the to these endeavors. Um, I think that uh, you know we see you know in in Philippians uh, um, chapter two, nineteen and following, you know, Paul takes time in this letter uh, to to the Philippians to really lift up Timothy and to lift up Epaphroditus and uh, then really honor them. And so I think in meaningful ways we need to figure out how to honor people and understand that in honoring them, you know, whether that's publicly or whether it's in writing in your newsletters or a video, you know, about them, that you're really casting vision. And uh, you're casting vision for what your church wants to be. It's, it's you know, I, I think I said earlier that you know, what is your end product? What does that disciple look like? What does that fully devoted follower of Christ look like? What does a, a person who is living missionally look like? And and so you've got to give those examples uh, to people. And, and I think in honoring the leaders and honoring the people who are doing that, I think, I think it's really... Uh, it's it's really just another way of casting vision of who you are and what you do. Well, that's a great thought. That encouragement leads to embrace.